Uh, hello. Well, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to configure Mobius. Well, Mobius is a software-based looper. And uh, we're also going to be talking about how to uh, configure your DAW software, which is Reaper, which I'm running at the moment, to work with Mobius. And uh, later on, we're also going to be talking about how to configure your uh, custom-made Arduino-based MIDI controller that, that you just built or with any other MIDI controller for that matter to control Mobius. All right, let's start off. Um, let's create a new track. Just control T. And we're going to be loading Mobius onto it. Mobius is a VST. Click on effects. And uh, let's just search for Mobius. There you go. So this is what Mobius looks like. Uh, it's, it's got a sleek interface. Um, you can you can try working with it. It's uh, it's got a bit of a learning curve to it, but uh, it's got a lot of features packed into it as well. So uh, and this should this should be a nice learn. This is missing minimizes for a while, and we'll call our track Mobius track. Let's say. All right. And we're going to create another track, and this is going to be your instrument track. And uh, we're going to be the let's name instrument. All right. So this track is going to have your instrument playing, whichever instrument that you would want to loop. So it can have a, a mono guitar track, or a, can be connected to a vocal microphone, uh, say. Or you could change it completely. Uh, you could uh, you could make this as a MIDI track instead, and load your favorite VSTI, a synthesizer, something like that, to control your MIDI keyboard, which is then going to be your instrument. <laughs> All right, so we're going to route the instrument channel's input. I'm sorry, output into the into the Mobius track. So we're going to just click on the I.O. button and drag it on to Mobius just like that and we don't want the instrument track to be really playing because we just want Mobius to have control over it over the output of the instrument track so you just don't just turn, I just click on I.O. again and turn master pair and send off so if, if it's actually on you will you're gonna hear two of the tracks playing because uh, this is going to be playing as well and the output to this which is going to this this is going to be playing as well so you don't want that to happen so and um, we can create another track now and this is going to be our control track so it's called control track well, what the control track is going to do is uh, allow control of Mobius through your MIDI controller. <laughs> so let's go to control track. Now we want it to be a MIDI control. We, we want to um, input MIDI signal to it. So go to the input selector, input MIDI, and TNC MIDI is the the one I have uh, right now. This is it's called TNC MIDI because TNC I'm using a TNC 3.1, which runs on the Arduino architecture. And um, you can select all channel, though channel 1 has been configured in the code to transmit all the data. You can just ch set channel 1 instead, but what the hell, I'll just go for all channels. Alright, so also remember to arm this track and enable monitoring. Right. Now we can um, now we're gonna send the output of this track to Mobius as well. So click on I/O and send it to Mobius. All right, now this is done. <laughs> now we can go back to um, Mobius and uh, let's just configure Mobius for a second here. So go to configuration and um, track setup. Alright, so over here we've got the sync source. 
sync source and track sync unit are both default. We can check what default is by going in, going into synchronization. And default sync source is host, meaning that it syncs to the host BPM. So I've got Reaper right now at uh, 120 BPM. Over here, you can see it over here, it's 120 BPM. So the track syncs up to this tempo all the time. That's what the default setting means. So all these tracks right now are synced up to your DAW software. Let's go back to track setup. And um, the other thing that we're going to be looking at is plugin output port. Um, each track has a different plugin output port and that's how it should be well, basically because each track goes into a different channel uh, we're going to be configuring that later but uh, th it, that's how it works so each track goes into a different channel so from that channel you can do whatever you want with it so you can have eight different tracks recording at the same time and you can have eight different loops playing at the same time as well so this gives you a lot more flexibility than all the eight channels being on one stereo mix. With this setup, you get complete control on what you want to do with your loops after you're done recording them. You can apply VSTs and plugins to each one of your loops to sort of sculpt the sound that you would want. Besides that, everything else should remain the same. Uh, let's click OK configuration global parameters and this is, uh, this is quite important this should be ticked by default but if it isn't click this on it's monitor audio input that should be on um, that basically lets you hear what whatever loops happening inside 